I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakening and it's the first reading of the day what's up y'all i'm tired 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 <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. It's long gone. A uh, couple of updates. Dang, all my phone's in up here. We had a solar flare over the weekend. That solar flare gave us a lot of like new upgrades, blockage rules, things of that nature. Um, damn. Scorpios, you will be feeling like a fluctuation in like, I don't know. Not, I don't want to say your appearance, but just people paying attention to you being alive. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but you would get a lot of influx in people paying attention to you, people keeping up with you. Uh, people wanted to know what's going on with you. People wanted to link up with you. Um, and you're going to see that uh, tremendously. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be dating. For others of you guys, it could be just um, an influx in... Um, uh, communication with who you're already talking to. Um, for some of you guys, this is really just pure interaction as well. Okay. But happy mommy's day to everybody. I know we long past it. I worked. And then I had an amazing, I had a great, I had a great mother's day. I ain't gonna flex. My mother's day was amazing. Couldn't ask for a better day. Okay. Icing on the cake. Okay. <laughs> All right, Scorpios, let's get into your reading, okay? It is Monday, that May 13th, all right? So, it's May to May, May. It's May, May time. It's May, May time, all right? Congratulations to all the graduates out there, all right? So, we're finna see what's the scoop. I don't know why it took me so long to start this reading today. Damn, where the bell at? Where the bell at? I don't even see the bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's 1028 Awakenings, and we about to start this damn video. Well, my Scorpio is in another day, right, right out the gate. All right, Scorpio, somebody like how you open book. They like how you ain't got no secrets. It says secrets are about to be revealed in reverse, okay? Um, somebody likes that you're an open book. You just keep it 100, and it's refreshing. A lot of people don't do that, you know? Um, they just don't know how to be honest. This could be something that somebody really does value or trading you or this could be in somebody else all right uh we got skeletons i'm sorry i said secrets will be skeletons okay so secrets will be revealed skeletons in reverse somebody realizes that you're really forthcoming with your skeletons you're really forthcoming with things that you hiding in your closet and they really like that all right this makes somebody feels very free all right to not really be forced to talk to you or forced to not talk to you. It's, it's, it's a very light energy. You could be meeting somebody like this and you just like that. It's kind of like an open book. You don't feel bound to this person. This person ain't like, oh, you mine forever. You know, you got to be careful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you'd be like, oh, my, I want to love you, attach you, and never let you go. You know, you can't be letting people do that, all right? But you don't feel bound to this person, but you do feel like you could talk to this person. You can communicate with this person. Uh, this person isn't hiding anything from you. And that is a really good feeling to have, all right? You also could want to manifest with this person. This person could have talked to you about manifestations and reaching your goals and your desires, all right? This shit is not in reverse. So this is not somebody who's downing your goals or downing your desires. Like, dang, that's what you want? Like, they're not doing that, okay? Now, with uh, skeletons, this person, if you ask them, they will tell you. And they're not pressed for you to like stay in their life they're not pressed for you to you know do whatever in this person's life they do they do want you in that motherfucker though okay 
but you're not bound to them. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this is, they do have boundaries and they do understand that they can live their own fucking life and you can live your own fucking life. You know, sometimes you meet people and they're like, you can't be with anyone outside of me. You're like, whoa, nigga, I ain't even know you until now. I was living life, walking down the street alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? But this is this is good, though, Scorpio. You manifesting somebody who may have a past, but they're willing to talk to you about it, all right? This is somebody who is clingy, but they also know when stuff is getting way too, you know what I'm saying? Obsessive. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on in this shit, okay? Oh, Lord. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just like, I don't know why they told me to go to these cards. Uh, somebody's wallet or the shit in their wallet could be stuck together or it could have got wet or you could have had to take everything out of something and everything was stuck together cards or something something was stuck together mm. all right what my scorpios need to know right now what my scorpios need to know right now oh shit all right so someone who survives off another person one who even all right, so you could be dealing with a dude or a girl who is a moocher, okay? They survive off other people's money or using other people's shit, okay, uh, first, okay? Now, this ain't nobody who don't got no money. They just are better at just making sure you front your shit first, all right? So we are dealing with a moocher um, as well, okay? So just know you could have a girlfriend that does this to you or this could be a girl that you are talking to, Scorpio, that is a big-time moocher. They're stealing your energy, this girl who uses you for food and stuff like that, they're going to receive karma if you're a Scorpio male, okay? So whoever this girl is, they will be receiving karma. Now, with this Moocher card here, someone who survives off of another person's income, this could be a nigga, all right? And whoever this nigga is, they could have um, skeletons in their closet that's about to be revealed. They didn't want this to manifest, but they do got different holes and different area codes that are sponsoring their food, their shelter, and their home, okay? And this could be a nigga. This nigga could feel bound to this person. They're not really bound to them, but if a nigga feed, if a female feed you and shelter you and close you and you sleep on their sofa, uh, it's going to be hard for you to move on from that bitch because she is aiding and abetting you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right? Now, somebody's going to receive karma for this. So, when you are a woman and you're enabling a man to grow up and evolve, you know, you ain't his mama or nothing like that, you ain't his dad. What will happen is the universe will strip you of your financial resources, all right? And you'll blame it on everybody else, the supervisor, all these people. But it's really on the nigga that you are mining and taking care of, okay? That's grown and able to do it on his own. And even if this is a female, you know, it could be even your daughter. She'd be grown as fuck, 33 years old, 22 years old. It's good to raise your daughter, but it's also good to have some kind of traits where she can make it on her own. Like, you need to steadily pay this bill every month or, you know, set some goals down for her to be able to understand that when she moves out on her own, she can stand up on her own two feet. This is hella important. All right. Now, some of y'all are receiving good ass karma. OK. And with Mooch, you're here in the upright on top of manifest. A lot of people could be just volunteering to pay for your food, okay? Uh, and you could be like, wow, you're really going to pay for my food? But yeah, this is definitely what's happening here. And even though people may perceive you to be a moocher, people go out of their way to change their own fucking income, Scorpio, to pay for your food, okay? And you keep your own money. And people could be shocked by this, but this is true, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people get different opportunities than others, but it's all based off what the energy that you put out. All right, off the grid. So you could be seeing that somebody's kind of off the grid. They're not posting a lot, okay? This is somebody who's being cooped up in their room. They're not really socializing it. They being in hermit and they're not on social media. This could be you, Scorpio. You could be not posting as much as you did or used to. You could be kind of off the grid. You could be in hermit mode, but in hermit mode is where we get our, uh, you know, our jinxing, our re-up, our mono combat, okay? This is where we get our, you know, our, our, our juices flowing, all right? And I think as we are off the grid right now, we're receiving a lot of karma. We're receiving a lot of good energy back to us, okay? And with this Moocher card here on top of Manifest, sometimes we go places alone by ourselves in groups with your homeboys, with your homegirls, and people will sponsor us out of the blue, which is really, really amazing, okay? Um, but yeah, you also got a moocher here that's trying to manifest you back. Uh, they want something from you. This is somebody who kept a lot of secrets from you. All right. This is also somebody who feels bound to their situation. Uh, they could be off the grid. So when they're with whoever they're with, they never post. 
when they chill with whoever they chill with, they never show it. This is somebody who feels like, you know, when they with their old lady or they with their old man, privacy is the best key, okay? They don't want to show you who the fuck they with. They don't want you to know who they with privately. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? This person is very off the grid with who this is. And it could be because this person, who they spend quality time with, uh, pays their bills. They do all this different stuff and they try to hide it from you, okay? Um... This also could be somebody who don't live with you or they live in a different place. You don't really know where they live, but, you know, they they could be playing musical house, musical, you know, it's musical chair, but this person could be playing musical house. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Okay, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, so if you are dealing with this moocher, all right, this could be a dude. He could be not doing this to you, but he could be doing this to other women. And you could be wondering, like, where he is and what he's doing and how all these things occurring. But it's really because, you know, he could be fucking with another girl and he doesn't want you to know. Or he, she's fucking with another dude and don't want you to know. All right. So let's see how this person feels about you, Scorpio, who is a moocher. They're not mooching off of you, but they are mooching off another woman or another man. Okay. They are going to receive karma for that. It says, I can't keep pretending like I'm okay without you. All right. So whoever this is, they do fucking miss your motherfucking ass. And they are pretending like everything is good. They don't need to fuck with you, okay? But it's just not the truth. Somebody does miss your essence. They miss your energy a lot, all right? But they, they trying to keep it cool. They kind of feel like you be holding out a long time. You be doing what they're doing. Whoever this is, they starting to feel like you fucking with somebody else. And that's why it's so easy for you to be out here uh, not talking to their ass. It says, I'm going through a dark night of the soul and I need space. So this person could be going through health problems right now, but they don't want you to know it. Okay. This person also could be going through financial difficulties at this time. You know, not really knowing where they're going to live or what they're going to do or just wanting a change. Not wanting to be on this person's sofa or just not wanting to be, you know, fucking with this person. Okay. No more. But sometimes when niggas get a lot of financial help from females, those females feel like they own you. So you got to be careful about getting money from people. Okay. You better ask your mama. It says, don't wait around for me, all right? So somebody is like, look, I ain't coming. I might have said I was coming. I might have said I was pulling up, but don't wait around. Scorpio, you could have got, you could have got, you could have learned a long time ago not to wait around for this person because this person is just very aloof. You know, the more you talk to them, the more they're more so like Casper the Ghost. So whoever this is, they don't want you waiting around for them because they ain't coming through. Uh, they, they can't keep pretending like they okay without you because it's going to show up some kind of way or they about to slip up or get caught. And it says, I'm going through a dark night of the soul right now and I need space. It is really because they tired of being on whoever this is or crutching on this person and they don't want to be bound to this person no more. Okay. Uh, Scorpio, you the only person this person sees. They want to be with you, but to be with you is to freely be with you. You won't be, they, they're not going to be bounded by anything. Like, you're not offering this person room and board or, you know, financial stability. So they know that being with you, they got to really just be with you. And that's kind of hard because most of the niggas or most of the females that this person fuck with, they financially help this person. But when they met you, they wanted to financially help you. They wanted to pay into your dreams. They wanted to spend money on you, do stuff for you. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have a lot of money to do so. But the little money that they did had, they wanted to. But I also want you to know that this person could be doing that on the backs of another nigga or another female. They do miss you, okay? And and they watch you. Um, I don't really know how they do that <clears throat> because it says you're the only one I see. So this person does pay attention to everything that you do. And they don't really want you to move on towards nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they keep letting your ass down too because there's somebody else that they have to like attend to and be there for. They could lie and say it's somebody else, but nonetheless, Scorpio, you know what's up, all right? All right, let's see what messages that you have from Spirit. Oh, this ain't even the messages from Spirit. Damn. Okay, let's see what the fuck come up with this then. Because this ain't even the message from Spirit card. Somebody's name could be Virginia. Somebody could be in Virginia River. Somebody could be by a river. Somebody could have been on a lake. Somebody could have been on the phone and they could have been echoing. It says, I want to be in union with you, but I have a karmic deck I got to pay off. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Whoever this is, <laughs> okay, they borrowed some money from a day old lady or somebody they used to fuck with, and they felt bond to this person because of this money, bruh, okay? And this could be a dude. 
okay? It says, I regret playing games with you. So whoever this is, they did play mind games with you. Hot, cold, shit, lukewarm, okay? Scorpios ain't really good with them games, so they probably dropped them, bitch. This ain't game night. It says, I chose a superficial bullshit over this soul connection and now I regret it, all right? So somebody really has a strong bond with you. They feel like that their soul craves you in some kind of way, but they chose something that was very superficial, maybe even a fat ass, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even sponsorship. Bitches be choosing nigga over sponsorship. They be like, well, this nigga paying a bill, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so whoever this is, they chose something that was superficial as fuck. They hate it now, all right? This is a karmic debt that they do have to pay off. All right, and they regret playing games with you because you were solid. Something about you, like I told you in the beginning, something about you was just light. You didn't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes people like that. It's like, ain't no pressure with you. You know what I'm saying? You know how you meet a person, they be like, you got to be with me forever. You're like, whoa, you might be crazy. Why I got to be with you? I don't even know you, bro. Okay, so we said it's time to release negativity. Okay, Scorpio energy. All right, so Scorpio, you could be holding on to somebody and they negative as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't be with this person, okay? So, Scorpio, it's time for you to let go of somebody. Don't be around this person and let it gain momentum. You and this person just don't see eye to eye. This person is very hella negative, all right? They see things one way. It says, don't let your past hold you back in reverse, okay? So, Scorpio, you moving to your north node. Whoever you fucking with right now, they moving in their south node. And they let their past hold them back. This also is somebody who listens to you. To see if you're letting your past hold your back. Or trying to correlate that you are doing that. Or that you have some kind of problem. Whoever you're dealing with right now, they're trying to figure out why you're alone or why you're single of some sort. Okay, so you need to move away from this person. Okay, because this person is negative. Okay, <laughs> and they operate in they south know Everything has to be this person's way. This person will see nobody's other way. So you need to back away from this person. Oh, shit, another one. You could have Virgo in your chart. It says a time to give rather than to take. It's a time for you to pull all the way fucking Back. If a moon just passed, all right, it is a time for you to take back your energy from this person, Scorpio, for real. Because this person, you operate in your north, they operate in your south. And y'all can bump heads. Hell yeah, this person could, this could happen in a Taurus. Is Taurus season right now? It says prosperity lies ahead. So Scorpio, really you need to be focusing on your coins at this time. It's a lot of money to be collected right now. You could need to put a lot of money into the, I mean, not a lot of money, but a lot of energy into the grid at this time because prosperity lies ahead during tourist season. And there is somebody that you're giving your energy to that you need to pull back from because they're pretty negative, okay? And you might see this in casual conversation or just being around this person. You can see that this person is very negative, all right? They try to act like they're positive, but they're not, okay? And you can have Virgo somewhere in their chart, in your chart. You could be a very given person, but Scorpio, your spirit is telling you to hold back okay the two songs that popped out was unfaithful by rihanna story of my life searching for the right but it keeps avoiding me all right so like i said you know somebody has been unfaithful all right and it's been a lot they know that somebody really loves their company um but they also know that they've been avoiding somebody else because uh they love them whoever this is they torn Somebody love them, they love somebody, somebody else love them, they love them too. It's just a lot. Whoever this is, they unfaithful, all right? Now, whoever this is also, there's a lot of differences. So at a place where this person was like, yeah, this is what I want to be with, this is who I want to talk to for long term. Now this nigga is seeing things differently, okay? Their whole life has changed since you came in. And they knew the day that you came in their life that you were somebody special. They love you really deeply, but they felt they hella unfaithful to you, all right? Because they was faithful to somebody before you had got here. Now you got here, you done showed this person all these different differences, Scorpio. And now they realizing that they got a stronger bond to you. They glad as fuck that you came into their life. They feel like they was blinded. They didn't understand love. But, you know, they 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 feel like they, they love you now. And these differences have, have brought a great a uh, trait of themselves out okay so basically you brought a really good trait of of themselves out of their selves like you know how people bring out the good in you you did this to this person but this person has been unfaithful now i don't really like saying unfaithful because i don't really feel like nobody in a relationship but this person has been splitting their energy uh with somebody else and they feel bad about it you know what i'm saying but at the same time you know it they don't they don't know what to do and they're not fulfilling, they're not being, they're not fulfilling promises to you, all right? Which is actually making them feel bad as well, all right? It could be making you feel bad too, and that's why spirit is telling you to get the fuck away because this person is acting 
in their south node when you're acting in your north node and they constantly keep choosing superficial relationships that don't have any merit or any spiritual connection it may have just have time in it okay but if you fuck with somebody just because you fuck with them for a long period of time that's not good <laughs> okay so just be mindful of that all right because maybe sometimes you're holding on to relationships that you really need to end and time don't really mean shit okay because the whole time you've been wasting time all right, it says don't wait around for me. So this is somebody who constantly st stands you up. All right, Scorpio. So you might need to take that heave and not wait around for this person anymore. This person could be receiving karma. All right, you will see this person post less or be off the grid more. But it is because this person is a moocher or they're living off somebody. All right, and they want to stop doing that, but it's just really hard, you know. Also, you're manifesting your desires. A lot of people feel bound to you very quickly because you're just like an open book and they really like that. I love y'all Scorpios and I'll see y'all later. Bye.